Why don't buildings dance? Because they have two left feet. But that's not the case with Prague's dancing house. Now here's a structure that waltzes right past traditional architectural norms, pirouetting its way into the realm of artistic freedom. This delightful anomaly of a building is as much a symbol of creativity as it is a testament to the audacity of its designers. Nestled among Prague's conventional structures, the dancing house refuses to be a wallflower, standing out with the grace and flair of a seasoned performer. It's been fondly dubbed the Fred and Ginger House, a humorous nod to the legendary dance duo Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Much like its namesakes, the dancing house embodies a seamless blend of strength, elegance and audacity. It's a building that throws caution to the wind, daring to dance in a city of stoic, static structures. If buildings could dance, the dancing house would definitely be the star of the show. Just like a spicy salsa routine, the dancing house didn't come into existence without stepping on a few toes. Now, every salsa dancer worth their salt knows that a little controversy can add a dash of zest to the dance floor. The dancing house, or the Fred and Ginger house as it's affectionately known, was no stranger to this. In fact, it didn't just step on a few toes. It practically danced a cha-cha on the traditionalist sensibilities of Prague's populace. Imagine the scene. Prague, a city revered for its architectural heritage, suddenly finds itself face to face with a building that looks like it's got the jitters. The dancing house, with its twisted torso and glass facade, was an abrupt departure from the city's traditional Baroque and Gothic aesthetic. To many, it was as if a modern pop beat had rudely interrupted a classic symphony. The design was so unconventional, so audacious, that it stirred a whirlwind of public opinion. Some called it a blight on the cityscape, an architectural misstep. Others saw it as a symbol of artistic freedom, a brave tango into uncharted territory. The dancing house was the talk of the town, and not everyone was singing its praises. Yet, like any good dancer, the dancing house didn't let the criticism deter it. It stood tall and proud, swaying to its own rhythm. Over time, this controversial structure began to win hearts. The once blighted building became a symbol of modernity and ingenuity, a testament to the city's resilience and adaptability. Today, it's hard to imagine Prague without the dancing house. This once controversial structure has twirled its way into the city's identity, becoming an iconic symbol and a must-visit tourist attraction. It's a testament to the power of artistic expression and the ability of a city to transform controversy into celebration. So, the dancing house may have started off on the wrong foot, but it certainly knows how to tango with controversy. Have you ever wondered what kind of a dance routine a building would have? Let's take a peek at the choreography behind the dancing house. Imagine, if you will, two dancers mid-twirl, frozen in the elegance of their movement. This is the essence of the dancing house. Now, before you start checking your glasses, no, buildings haven't started literally dancing on the streets of Prague, but wouldn't that be a sight? The architects of this dance, Frank Gehry and Vlado Milunik, envisioned a structure that would defy norms and dance its way into the annals of architectural history. And dance it did, but not without stepping on a few toes. After all, when you're trying to make a building dance, you're bound to ruffle a few feathers. The dancing house, or the Fred and Ginger house as some prefer to call it, is a marvel of deconstructivist architecture. Gary and Milunik, quite like the choreographers of a grand ballet, designed each element of the building to flow seamlessly into the next, creating the illusion of movement and rhythm. It's a dance of glass and steel, a harmonious tango of the unconventional and the extraordinary. The curvaceous glass tower representing Ginger Rogers leans into the concrete tower, symbolising Fred Astaire in a graceful dance of architectural brilliance. But don't be fooled by the seemingly whimsical design. Every curve, every tilt, every structural twist and turn was meticulously planned and executed. It's a dance routine set in stone and glass, a choreography of architectural elements that makes the building come alive. And what's a dance without a bit of controversy? The dancing house had its share of critics, those who felt the building was out of step with Prague's traditional Baroque and Gothic architecture. But as they say in showbiz, the show must go on. 
And so the dancing house continues its dance, a symbol of artistic freedom and architectural ingenuity. And that, folks, is how you make a building dance. Now, if only we could get the rest of the city to join in the waltz.